Hello guys, it's Shimer. How are you doing? So I am back today with another video. Um, this is going to be like a Q&A. I the lighting. I don't have my lights. I mean, I'm in this room. This is my brother's room actually. So we don't have a lot of extra room in here to be able to... I mean, I can put my lights up in here and film a video, but if I'm sitting there trying to wrap gifts and stuff, I, I don't have enough of the room. I don't have enough of space to put up in big sock boxes and then try to film videos. I just don't have time for that. And I don't have room for that. So, first, I'm gonna, you guys see I'm got some gifts back there. But I'm gonna um, start out with the video from the Q&A. Um, I'm, I had about maybe, maybe, if maybe at the most maybe 10 people to ask a bunch of videos I didn't get, get as much as I wanted to but it's okay I'm not gonna complain about it but um, I'm gonna go here on my phone and actually pull up the Christians and then I'm gonna ask the Christians so somebody one of my subscribers is oh god it's Keith so he commented and said biggest motivation <sighs> my biggest motivation would be that's a good question um, biggest motivation. I want to say God, but it is God. But I want to add something to it. But um, because you know, without Him, you know, I'm nothing. But um, I have to save my parents because um, you know, they're my parents have always been, you know. A good family that's always pushed me to go on and do big things and greater things and they just you know follow my dreams and stuff so I would consider that as my biggest motivation also with my own um, God as well it's guys live asked me what do you plan to do after co graduate from college so you guys know I'll be graduating from um college come next spring um, I really don't know <laughs> I know for a fact that I want to um you know, definitely get out and, you know, you know, find a job with my degree and stuff. But I'm not going to quit YouTube. I mean, I'm just not doing it as much as I am trying. I'm not, you know, putting out a lot of time and effort in it like I should be within the last couple of months. Like I should be. But I'm still doing it. Also, um, if you guys are hearing background noise, just ignore that my mom's back there baking and stuff. And she's on the phone talking. So just ignore that. She's loud now, so just ignore that. I'm gonna try to block some of that out. And this is my light up here, so it's not the best, but I'm doing as best I could. But um, back to the question. Um, like I said, just I'm gonna continue on YouTube. I really want this. I really want to. 2017. I really want to know focus a lot. You know, you know, in 2017, and really work hard at you know come 2017. Because I haven't been really you know, focusing on YouTube as much as I should be in 2016. 2017, some changes are coming, guys. I mean, just go ahead and be prepared for that. So, I'm going to really get serious about um, YouTube come next year. And I'm going to get myself, I'm already made plans to get myself about two, two to three years. And really work at my channel and really make it grow. And then, um, after that, my plans of going back to school. Or you know, creating YouTube, whatever, or continuing YouTube, I will come to that because you know, and you know, you guys know that you know YouTube is it's not the easiest thing to kind of start up and try to make it a career or whatever. But it's best to you know try to you know do the best that you can, but at, at the same time work hard at it. So that's that question. Um, Miss Salacia D's. Thanks Miss Salacia for watching my videos. I still see you Christian here. So she said, what is your favorite Christmas tradition memory? And also, where is somewhere you would like to travel? Um, I would say favorite Christmas, favorite Christmas, um, memory is, I would go to tradition, um, cause I, enjoy my traditions. I mean, I have a lot of Christmas memories, but there's so many to, you know, try to put that I actually really love. As far as Christmas tradition, I always enjoy my mom. She started from when I was a little kid, posting, I mean, not posting, <laughs> from a little kid, she started putting, making um Christmas stockings. 
and she would have put stuff in there and then you know she would have put you know when i was with a child she would have put toys and stuff in there and she would have put candy and stuff like that and she would always you know christmas eve she would come on in, in my bedroom where me and my brother would be out and she would put it in the bed with us and i would look forward to waking up on christmas morning you know, and going through my little stocking and just what type of goodies and stuff i would have in there and you know i would always enjoy you know just waking up just to see that then of course you know after going through my stocking, I go ahead and you know, so I open up Christmas gifts up on the tree. So that's a tradition I always enjoy doing, you know, each year. Um, thanks for the question. I have another one. Is thoughts about your new president? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> well, I mean, I know all things happen for a reason. Um. I know some people don't really like the idea of him being our president, Donald Trump. You know, Donald Trump elected president. Because technically he's not official. I mean, he's official, but he's not our president right now. I mean, he's elected. But come January 20th, he will, he will be our president. But, um, you know, all things happen for a reason. And I really hope that he really, um, he really makes this country better and really works at it. And works at trying to make, um, this country better than what it is and we do work at making you know um our jobs coming back lowering the taxes you know this is stuff that he he's been talking about you, you guys all know about it i mean if you're into politics you're understanding his goals and stuff that he's making plans but i'm just really hoping that he has to stick it out and not change it i mean you know he's not even the president he's not even the white house yet so we'll just have to wait january 20th and hopefully 2017 be a good year you know, I mean, I, I voted for him. I, I voted for Donald Trump. But, um, Hillary Clinton, this does a lot of stuff on her. I mean, I'm not going to be going to too, de too much detail about this because people are going to be flipping out about it and saying, really? He's talking about Hillary Clinton. But I just, there's so much, so much wicked stuff she's done in the past, you guys. Some of you guys know about it, some of you don't. It's just, it's crazy. I mean, within the past couple of months before we you know we decided who I wanted to do that for president. I, I've done a lot of research, you know, about Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Yes, you're going to find negativity on any person. Nobody's perfect, you know what I mean? But there's a lot more that was on Hillary Clinton than what it was Donald Trump. And, you know, when, when her husband was in the house, you know how Bill Clinton was. So, I'm not going to go into too much detail about that, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad that he is, you know, the president, and I really hope that he works at fixing this country making this country better and really making this thing you know really trying to make the country better and his goals and his plans that he wants to stick to hopefully he'll stick to that so that's that question there best christmas memory i was asked that ago but um i'm trying to really think of one guys it's sad but i really don't have one i mean I'm, it's kind of sad to say you don't have a favorite christmas movie, but it's just i mean I'm on 2022, 20, so I mean, I'm not really old enough. I just, I don't really have one as far as a kid. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying all my Christmases, but I don't really have one. <laughs> but my um, favorite food is Mexican food. I love Mexican food. Um, three words that describe you the best. I would say um, I'm funny, I'm different, and then I'm caring. Them three good, good words that it describes me. And this question came from um, Nat Uglin. I don't, if I'm not pronouncing your name, I'm sorry. But she said that um, that's all from there. I, you know, you guys know I had two videos that I I had posted. This video I'm gonna try to know do editing on it, but it's already 10 minutes long. This video might be 20 minutes long. <laughs> So let's stay tuned. Um, here's one from Trice, Trice Thymy. Girl, if I'm not pronouncing your name, don't, please don't get mad at me. But um, she said, do you vlog in public? Yes, I do vlog in public. I have vlogged in public before, and I'm getting better with it. I think I'm getting better with it. Um, I have some other vlogs on this channel and some on my vlogging channel. The link can be in the description if you guys want to go check out my vlogging channel. And I'm vlog in public i mean it don't really bother me to me honestly personally i would rather vlog in pub public if i'm with people with somebody like with around friends and family versus doing it by myself to me 
if you're around friends or family, you know, oh well, pour, you know, pour it out and start talking. But to me, if you're by yourself, it's a little awkward, you know what I mean? You know? And believe it or not, most YouTubers that does vlog, like on a daily basis or on a weekly, weekly basis, they have people around them when they vlog. They're not vlogging about themselves, so that's, you know, one thing that I'm, you know, okay about when I'm around people in public the vlog, I'm okay. Um, she said, um, where do you get the courage? If, if so, where do you get the courage? I mean, you know, you just have to try it out. I mean, you know, just, you know, just try it out. You know, I mean, I started, I, I, I did, I started out YouTube last year and I've done a couple of videos of me last year where I would vlog in public. So, you know, just, you just have to try it out, you know, just take the camera out, you know, and just start trying on your own, you know, you know, you have to really kind of step out of your comfort zone sometimes, which I've got a long ways to go, but I'm getting better. Um, will you vlog in public more often? Yes, I will be vlogging more often, more public. Um, like I said, you know, I'm more comfortable around friends and family and people that I know than be ripping out a camera, you know, out of my own and just walking down the street, you know, just, you know what I mean, talking, you know. Plus, whenever I do vlog in public, or I do uh, actually when I vlog at all, I want to make the video somewhat interesting. Let me just, oh, I'm going to Walmart. You know what I mean? You know, it's not. I need to make the video interesting for you guys who want to watch it. Um, and she said, "Have you ever thought about being a counselor?" I had thought about going into psychology at one time and getting like a degree in psychology, but changed my mind on that. I'm always enjoy computers and stuff and technology, so I'm gonna stick to computers. Um, and she said, "You have a relaxed way of speaking that seems to calm me when I listen to you. I'm a naturally nervous person." <laughs> thanks for the thanks for the question, and thanks for the comment. That's nice, but um, yeah, I mean, I thought about being a, being a counselor, bro. I'm not, you know, I'm kind of really kind of nervous about that. I mean, I, I'm just, you know, change plans about that. Um, here's another one. How old are you? I'm 22 years old. And what is your favorite color? My favorite color is, is blue, but I also love green. So, you know, you guys know I've got a, a blue case. So I would say blue. I got a blue shirt on. So, <laughs> obviously, it must be blue. And that came from Sky's Life, the creation she gave. And here is one from uh, uh, Maria Awesome. What do you want for Christmas and how how did you grow so fast? Thanks for com that comment. Um, we didn't, I mean, I we don't have, you know, what I, something I actually really want for Christmas. I always enjoy, um, I always enjoy, you know, just being my family and friends, you know, and that's the most important thing, you know, and just giving back. So, I don't really, you know, have like a goal, it's like, okay, I want this for Christmas, you know, I mean, got a few clothes and stuff, you know, and other stuff, so I mean, I'm blessed, you know, I'm, um, you know, I don't, I'm very thankful for, you know, where I'm at in my life and things that I have, my family, so I don't have to really need a lot in my life. So, um, I really don't have nothing we want for Christmas. I mean, there's a, like a list of people, stuff, stuff that I really want for Christmas, but do I really need it? <laughs> That's the question. Do I really need it? No. So, thanks for that question. Here's one, another one from Lethetical, Lecycle. Mm. She said, what do you hope to accomplish on your YouTube channel in an upcoming year? Um, my goal is to grow, grow my audience, grow the Shawnee fam, and then um, work on, you know, better myself as a YouTuber and better myself as a, you know, human being. You know, and then just, you know, really working on my channel, just making it grow. Um, I think that's all of the questions. Okay, that's all the questions. <laughs> <laughs> literally just sit here and spend a minute, two minutes, three minutes to going through here and trying to find because I'm going through on, on here you guys can see oh the light is bad okay you see there they are I'm going through the comments trying to find but I end up going through the audience comments trying to find um questions instead of you guys left so that was probably about a good maybe 10 questions maybe 12 questions maybe I answer could have been more, but that's there. But thanks for the questions. Um, that was my first Q&A video. Um, I will be getting better at doing them in the future. Went the best, but you know, I'll be getting better. This video is 60 minutes long. I'm gonna just sleep like it is. I'm gonna probably um, go ahead and film me these boxes um, separately. I'm gonna have them on my vlogging channel. I've got some other vlogs I'm gonna be posting. Um, 
for the next couple of days as well. Christmas vlogs. And then I'm got a gingerbread vlog that I'm probably gonna try to get it up today. So when you guys see this video see this video be already up, so that's that. Um I hope you guys enjoyed the QA. Thanks for all the questions that you gave me. That was nice. Um I will work on doing some more QA videos in the future. And I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks for all the comments and questions and answers. <laughs> all the nice comments. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.